All right. Welcome to Health Matters with Dr. Nelson Bulmash, sponsored by the UI Radio Network at uiradionetwork.org. Catch us on Facebook and Instagram at United Intentions and Twitter at Higher Intention. Look for us on 99.1 FM, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, Stitcher, Blog Talk Radio, and many more. Over the next hour, we'll introduce you to some fascinating people and engaging discussions that may provide you with answers to assist in revolutionizing your own personal health. And now, here's Dr. Nelson. The United... Do you have a secret? It's time for Mom Confessions. Do you have a secret? Health Matters is brought to you by our friends at North Fulton Apothecary, where they care about your health. 11940 Alpharetta Highway in Alpharetta. Call 770-475-8903 or visit them online at NorthFultonRx.com. Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson Bullmash here, the host of Health Matters on the UI Media Network. It's great to be with everyone today. I have a wonderful guest and we're going to talk about all things health. So if you are, are troubled by a disease or a condition. We're not here to treat your disease or condition. I want to be clear about that. But we're going to talk about many things that help bring balance back to the mind, body, and spirit so that you can heal in an optimal way. My guest today is, is a wonderful, wonderful person, and she is full of information. She runs what I consider to be one of the most amazing Center, you're welcome. One of the most amazing, she's saying thank you in the background here. One of the most amazing centers for restoring health in the country. But before we get into that, it'll be a surprise. You can, if you're watching us, you can see her sitting to my left. She's the attractive one and, uh, and bright too. Don't mean to say otherwise, but uh, we'll get started here with her in just a second. But I want to give a shout out to all our friends and family. So Beth, give me your first name first. Let's give a shout out to everybody who's catching the show right here in Atlanta on WDJY FM 99.1 and to our friends and family who are catching us in Kentucky and Ohio on WTTA 101.2 FM. So everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you had a great day. You're probably catching us as you're driving home. I hope that you stay with us because we have an amazing show. I want to tell you a couple other things. You can now catch us exclusively at uimediaapp.com. And that's important because what we're realizing is that a lot of our work is being censored by Google and by Facebook. So once again, download our smart app at uimediaapp.com. You can listen to us 24-7. Not only me, but you can listen to all the other amazing hosts. And if you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Please call us at 678-495-4345. And we'd love for you to connect with us online. You can do so by following us on social media, on Facebook and YouTube as United Intentions and UI Media Network on Spreaker. I want to introduce you guys to a better way to fill your prescriptions. My friends at North Fulton Compounding Pharmacy has been compounding quality customized prescriptions for over 30 years. Their service is centered on you, the customer, and your personal care. North Fulton Compounding Pharmacy specializes in providing medications for patients with bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, autoimmune diseases, and those who are unable to commercially to take commercially prepared medications because of allergies or sensitivities to dyes and fillers. Josh and his team of highly trained pharmacists care about your needs and they provide that personal touch that is missing from most pharmacy experiences. They educate their patients about lifestyle changes and provide guidance on how and when to take their medications. If your life and your health depends on it, North Fulton Compounding Pharmacy can make a difference serving North Fulton and surrounding areas. They're located at 11940 Alfreda Highway in Alfreda, Georgia. Call them at 770-475-8903 or visit them online at NorthFultonRx.com. All right. Get that bio up there. My guest today is the lovely Beth Hauser Coughlin, and she is the owner of the amazing Living Foods Institute at Tula Health. Welcome to the show, Beth. Thank you. I'm You're so <laughs> welcome. I had the privilege of meeting you at ShiftCon 2019 down at the Grand Hyatt recently, and I was so impressed and inspired with you and what you're doing in the world. Thank you. You are so welcome. 
Uh, all right. So, okay. You know what? We're going to, I want to mention some things, but we're having some technical difficulties here. So let's jump right in and then I'll catch them up in your educational background in a moment. My apologies for that. So you are running what I consider one of the finest institutions to help somebody both have incredible health and reclaim their health. If they're suffering from some kind of autoimmune condition, cancer, or any other struggle that they might be having that helps create deleterious effects on their health so their quality of life is, in an, is not optimized. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly right here. Tell, the, thank you. Tell, tell us about your institute. Well, we have, um, as you mentioned, it, it, it is, we, we get a lot of calls in from people who say, um, I understand, because uh, we have people coming really from all over the world wow. to Living Foods Institute. Um, oh, and, and sorry, they, um, they say, we understand you're the most comprehensive protocol, that you've got the most comprehensive protocol. So we really do. We have healthy people, but we also have a lot of people yeah. with disease who come to us. And um, we do, we have a lot of different things which we could talk about, but, but um, I'm here for your guests. We, we do uh, detoxification. Of course, it's a real thorough detoxification with um, raw living foods. So sprouting and fermenting right. and um, all plant-based, organic. And, and we have classes that we teach, and then we have a whole other um, part of our facility, we have, um, it's, we sort of call it a wellness spa. We even, we even have a medical doctor who does diagnostic wow. equipment there. And that's and, on site. And it is. Uh, wow. Yeah. Beth, mm-hmm. we've got, we had a technical glitch there for a moment. So, so let me introduce you properly here. We'll go over Beth's bio here. She's the owner and director of the Living Foods Institute at Tula Health. Beth is, is the owner and director of the Living Foods Institute. Uh, early in life, Beth learned the value of good health and natural healing from the balance of her medical doctors, father, and yoga mm-hmm. teacher, mother. Wow, mm-hmm. that's very interesting. Beth started her professional career as a health and English teacher. Uh, no wonder you speaks with such clarity and, and oh. brevity. It's beautiful. Uh, and so you were a teacher at a school of children with special needs, later serving as principal of the school in the early 2000s. She left the school to open a yoga and natural healing facility, which she owned and operated until her father was diagnosed with a terminal brain disease. And seven years later, her concern for her father led her to return to graduate school and delve more deeply into her research about neuroplasticity brain healing, and the gut-brain connection. Her master's thesis focused on the specific impact of yoga on neurological healing. She looks forward to the continued growth of the Living Foods Institute at Tula Health, eventual opening of new locations and the opportunity to bring balanced nature or naturally based, I should say, methods of optimizing health to a broader market. That's beautiful. Mm I wondered what your story was. I actually didn't know your story. <laughs> How is your dad still around? Um, he's not actually, and that sort of propelled uh, that. That really is part of the reason that um, I am at Living Foods Institute. I think wow. it started my your um, deep delving and more deeply, and I mean, I've always been interested in health, yes. of course, with dad and mom. But um, but I think I just started to. Um, delve a little bit more deeply into my own my own problems right. and into studying, trying to figure out what was going on with my father. Beautiful. It's it's interesting. I didn't know we had that connection. Uh, yeah, Beth, my father had very very severe diabetes. I, I think he oh. was thirty seven or thirty eight when he was diagnosed with oh. with type one diabetes, which of course is an autoimmune disease. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I as I recall, Beth, I was five years old, and it brought tremendous fear into my life because mm. my father got so ill that he had to be hospitalized for a period of time. And mm. I remember wondering, you know, is my dad coming back, and when is he coming back? And I think oh. that's one of the things that we yeah. share, that it, it really brought forth a love of learning how to take care of yourself Yeah. because I knew a couple things. One, I wanted my dad around because he was an amazing man. Mm -hmm. Two, I didn't want to suffer from what he suffered from. Mm -hmm. And three, it made me very curious about what things we could do to Mm -hmm. avoid going down the same path. Exactly. Yeah. And it sounds like we have that in common. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. it, It really does. It really um, there is nothing, somebody that you love, nothing worse than seeing someone you love suffer, particularly someone yeah. like, like your like right. a parent and um, feeling helpless with it. Well, I want to share a couple things and then I'm going to turn the mic over to you. Uh, but I want to I want to share this because it sort of creates a basis of connection for us during the show. Great. And that is that, as I mentioned, my dad had diabetes. Uh, and interestingly, he also developed, uh, he went into kidney failure, went into heart failure. 
and had a number of other problems, had cancer. Oh, wow. I oh. used natural means to help him over the course of almost 11 years. I think he lived, after he went into congestive heart failure, I want to say he lived for about another 11 and a half years. And I That's... humbly... I think I was a great part of That's that because, fantastic. yeah, because I did Aww. many of the things that, that you're teaching. You know, we, of course, I didn't have an institute. I had my, my clinic, yeah. but he, we did many things around nutrition. And of course he was an avid exerciser, loved life, was Aww. a brilliant guy. And it, him engaging with me in that way allowed him to, to live another 10 and a half years, which means my kids actually got to know their, know their grandfather. That's, uh, oh, wow. Right. And then my mother ended up getting breast cancer. And I mm. helped use the things, many of the things we're going to talk about today to help keep her alive for almost five more years when all the traditional Western medical doctors assured me she would be dead in a couple hours, maybe a few days. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So we're going That's to... That's quite a story. Yeah. So I didn't know that your your connection was as yeah. such. So you, let, let's dig into this, okay? Yeah. yeah let's have some great. fun with this. Yeah. This is a great conversation we're going to have here. So... You have an amazing institute, and and I, I want to know more about. I want to get kind of a, an overview for the audience. I know you're really big with regard to food. Uh -huh. You 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 um, explore the notion of initially, at least, using and probably ongoingly as much as possible, uh -huh. organic food always. Right, always. we got it free of chemicals and pesticides always. and things we don't <laughs> want. Absolutely, I'm with you. Mm -hmm. And then you want vegan because it's so rich. You know, our plant matter is rich in, mm -hmm. in phytonutrients, in enzymes, in antioxidants, in fiber, all things good for repleting the body. Yeah. For the time, for the duration yeah. of the program, we say 100 percent. Let's let's okay. make it all um, the healthiest, most nutrient dense and easily digestible. Food. Right. So no toxins and Love it. Um, none of the things that are potentially irritants for the body. So that's, beautiful. So vegan is. Right. Yeah. So we do <laughs> vegan and we do organic. Uh -huh. We do living. Talk about that. Yeah. Living. Yes. Yeah. So, so so sprouted and yeah. fermented foods are living. We take them in their most, it's it's really wonderful foods in their most natural condition. Right. And um, the, the the difference in the way that makes you feel your, the make, way it makes you feel your, your body feel. But um, we were talking about fermentation yes. earlier and how great that is. Um, you know, our whole, we really, there's so much microbacterial cells in our body and yes. fermenting actually is creating bugs. Yeah, yes, it's healthy bugs. Kind of that's right, healthy, Hel bugs. healthy bugs in your gut. You know, one of the things that's always fascinated me, and I'm going to go and do a little sidebar on this, yeah. Beth, is that it was always fascinating to me that there's this alchemy that occurs when you sprout and when you ferment yeah foods yeah. that suddenly you're left with far more nutrition than you yeah. started with. Yes, yes. That's always been one of those perplexing things <laughs> in, in medicine and healthcare. Like, how do you end up through a process with more than you started with, right? I know. Yeah, it's wonderful. And and so mm -hmm. I, I'm guessing one of the reasons you advocate that is because it's so nutrient-rich that it really helps replete a, a body suffering from great depletion. It does. Yes, it's amazing because there's, um, I mean, a lot of people do detoxes and right. juice fast and um, or, or water fast, but a lot of times a compromised, sometimes a compromised body can't um, handle that as well. So we're just flooding your body with yeah. so much great nutrition. And the and, and I also think with the fermented foods that we're also, yeah, like you mentioned, it's so nutrient dense, yes. but also it helps um, reseed the gut bacteria. So yeah. it helps with gut dysbiosis Beautiful. and various problems like that. So it's a lot of lot of reasons right. for the for the foods that we do. So. Well, and and thank you so much, Beth. You you said something that really hit home. I'm not a fan of doing water fasts for yeah. somebody unless they're really advanced in this process. Yeah. Do you yeah. agree with me on this? I do. I do. I think it's. I think water fasts for people are far too intense, particularly Beth. In my humble opinion, uh, I've been doing this now for twenty. Just celebrated my twenty eighth year. I, I think that most people are so depleted because they've been eating foods that are so dead. They don't have the, they don't they don't have the nutrient density. They they, they don't have the adaptive reserve capacity to go. Yeah, yes, yes, to go on a water fast. Yeah, I, exactly. Yes, that's and and in fact, I um, actually uh, tried a, a water fast at a place in California when I was trying right. to detox, and I um, loved it. I loved initially the way I felt, but then I started realizing, oh no, I'm losing hair. <laughs> yes. Uh, so uh, I I crashed and burned after I wanted to do a seven day water mm -hmm. fast, and I crashed and burned badly. Uh, the six day. Yeah. It was like, nope, I'm done. I'm done. I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. I'm getting ill. I'm done. Yeah. yeah. All right. Beth, you and 
and I have a lot more to talk about. We're going to take a commercial break, okay. and we'll be right, right back. Right. Hey, everybody, Dr. Nelson Bulmash here. You're listening to another edition of Health Matters. My guest is Beth Hauser Coughlin, and we're talking about how to replete yourself if you're in a state of depletion, if you're, mm-hmm. or if you're somebody who's just like, hey, I don't want to deal with all that. I want to be super healthy. We're going to be back in one moment. We're going to get a word in from our sponsors. We'll be right back. Do I need a realtor to help me sell my house? It's easy to find a house, right? Does this sound familiar? Are you and or your significant other staying up too late, scrolling through your phone on one of those real estate apps searching through 15,000 homes in Atlanta? It's okay. This is what most of my clients are doing before they call me. It can become frustrating, stressful, and hard on your relationships. So if you want results, you can contact me on my Facebook, Melissa Smith, Remax Regency. Hope to hear from you soon. Health Matters is brought to you by our friends at North Are you ready to be the hero of your own story? It's time to put the power of your health back into you. Call 770-475-8903 or visit them online at NorthFultonRx.com. We're back. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Dr. Nelson Bullmash here. You're listening to Health Matters, and my guest is Beth Hauser Coughlin. And we're going to talk now, Beth. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about how you get started. Beth, I come to your, your, your wonderful institute. Lead me through it. What happens? Uh, well, so you come in the morning because it actually is a real immersive program. In fact, right. we were just talking a little bit about detoxification. Yes. And um, one, of the, one of the problems is that um, you've done detox most a lot of yes. your listeners may have too and sometimes you feel worse before you feel better so. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt <laughs> so we have a captive audience from nine until four they're Got with it. us the whole day and we're feeding we're feeding them the delicious food they're in the kitchen when 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 they come in they get um, a tonic or a it's all actually we don't even supplement during the program because we don't need to it's so, so everything is dense. so nutrient dense wow. but most of supplement we do is um like we have e3 live which is just really green algae and right. um and we do um juiced tonics like it maybe it depends it varies our the the woman mizzy you met her yes. in our kitchen is just amazing and can always create different mm-hmm. healing tonics Love sometimes that. with whatever it is with beets or cayenne pepper or, or a ginger and um, so, but, but the, uh, the, one of the mainstays of our program is wheatgrass actually. And, and why is that? Oh, it's so, because it's so wonderful for, it's so wonderful for so many things, but it also really helps it with, um, detoxifying the body and right. bringing oxygen to the body. Beautiful. And, Beautiful. um, it's, it's actually strong. A lot of people don't need to do it if they're not, I mean, it's great every day on an empty stomach, but we had a, um, an experience with someone the other day who was very sick and, um, she she missed the beginning the first day of class and we didn't realize on the second day she had she came in with a full tummy and did um, the we a wheat crash shot and thought she was gonna um, throw up probably yes so um, but <laughs> anyway so that's one of the we kind of have five healing foods and that's one of one them it's great it's so great you know it's interesting when I had cancer and I've been in remission now I think for twelve years. Uh, one of the things that I did is I did yes. I did four <laughs> four ounces a day on average, sometimes more, of wheatgrass. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it makes a huge difference. As as you stated, you know, one of the many things that it does is it it helps increase the alkalinity of the body. And you and I were speaking about this issue before the show. So when you help alkalinize the body, when you're Mm. not driving such acid-forming processes in the body, you get to deliver more oxygen to your cells, and that means the powerhouses in the cell get to generate what we call Mm. cellular energy, which is known as ATP. So mm-hmm. one of the things I noticed immediately was I went from being feeling dead to much less dead. I know. It's crazy, it's crazy. How, how, how great you Yes. <laughs> All right. So please continue. So you you, um, you do – do you want to talk any more about how you do the detox, some of the things you add or – Well, we do um, – we, so we – every day is different. The first day is the most difficult. It's um, because we're, we're really – we're moving everything that the body might – 
may potentially right. react to. So, but it, but we're still they're starting still learning recipes and then um, working with small groups, which actually is so neat that um, even that group connection, working yes. with others, a sense sure. of community, even the American the Journal of the American Medical Association now validates how important that is. The it, connections, of course, family connections, connections with friends, connections right. with new friends. Um, so that happens, and then we have a. They move to the classroom. We have a um, a classroom with lots of different speakers. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to get you to come oh, in one oh, day. Oh, that would be wonderful! <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so um, we're we feel like it's our responsibility um, to introduce them to people who really can help on their journey because everybody has a different. They're all getting mostly the same food. Sometimes people come in with sensitivities and um, various issues, so we right. modify. But um, but it's pretty much the, it's such a safe protocol with food that it's that most people get the I same thing <laughs> um Oh, oh no, forgive no. me. Did I interrupt? Oh, no, no. Just so, you on. know, one of, one of the things uh, you, you touched upon that I think is so important is, 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 you know, I know that we're talking so much now about the incredible connection between the gut and the brain. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about how your program fosters, how it nurtures a, a, a much better connection between mm -hmm. the gut and the brain. Well, it's it really we work really with the, the mind and the gut at right. the same time. And and I think one of the neat things about detoxification and fasting yes. um, is and it's ancient. That's such a great practice is people do feel more clear when they're um, oh. when you're you just that's one of the neat things people say is I can't I, mean, I could never knew how clear I could feel. But things come up too. emotions come up. So we're dealing really with yeah. both. And um, I think it's interesting people don't realize that the gut is signaling the brain and the brain is signaling the gut right. always. And um, I was fascinated. I thought it was fascinating to find out um, just a few years ago that um, – serotonin is manufactured in the gut, not yes. the brain. <laughs> right. Most of our serotonin is, is in, in the gut, gut. And, the, and GABA and dopamine, all the things that we need to feel good and calm. And so we've got our gut that the um, microbacterial cells are talking to our brains and our yes. brains are talking to our gut. And so, um, and, and, in, and in one of the big things that we do in our program, the emotional healing component is trying to get people to be um, really aware of the patterns that are so deeply ingrained, yes. our subconscious mind is right. so strong. We're either in our parasympathetic mode or we're in our sympathetic mm -hmm. mode. Or, um, And sometimes the signaling, our reactions, you and I can have the same experience yes. and have a completely different, different reaction. Right. So we're um, just bringing a, help, helping people bring awareness to that. Again, I mentioned the different experts that come in. We even have um, a guy, a PhD in counseling psychology who I – door and he is so he's so great at helping people recognize these things and we have a lot of other speakers who come in right including a mindful communication class but anyway just it's it's just it's so important to recognize if you're if if your brain isn't sig sending the signal to the gut of I am safe everything is okay right. and peaceful then it's sending a signal that might be counterproductive to to um, digestion your and to your health yes. overall. You know, Beth, <laughs> you you and I spoke about something that I think is quite fascinating. They're using the term now enteric brain because they know there's a tremendous amount yes. of neurologic, uh, right, yes. substance, yes. if you will, in the intestinal tract, which yeah. is fascinating yeah. to me. It's to me too. I mean, it's, <laughs> who knew that your gut played such a role in how you feel? No. Uh, we know now that certain probiotics are critical yeah. for altering your mood. Right, they're yeah. they're they're key in altering your blood sugar level. No, they're I love key that. in immunity. They're key to producing B vitamins, vitamin K. You know, so I love that connection. Me too. And you do such an amazing job. And one of the things I love about about your institute is you're so comprehensive. Do you know, yeah. a lot of people focus just on the nutrition part of it, which is wonderful. Yeah. I mean, there's a huge amount of benefit mm -hmm. there, yeah. right? But you had another interesting point, which is that often as you detoxify the body, really the body and mind are one. Yeah. And so as you detoxify the body, mm -hmm. mind, mm -hmm. in, emotionally toxic things come up as well. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about like what kinds of things people have experienced mm -hmm. going through your program with regard to the release mm -hmm. of emotional baggage as well as, you know, chemicals like pesticides or or preservatives, dyes, yeah. that kind of thing. Give us some interesting stories about that. Oh yeah, and that's that's neat. And we, since we're talking about that, the excuse me, the whole inner ecosystem, how right. <coughs> excuse me, how affected we are by um, 
you know, by by toxins and, of course, um, emotional toxins that right. we know now that, that that creates problems in the body. But um, I love that you asked about the release that happens. Um, that's one of the reasons I'm so in love with uh, the Living Foods Institute is um, the success stories that we see. And we have, um, in fact, um, this past class, we had a, a gentleman and um if he's watching today, of course, I won't say his name, but he's just such a, he was, he is such a, a strong, neat person and is working all the time. He had such a difficult time trying to get to take the time off because he actually, he was doing a 10 day program and he had to break it up into five days. But um, we had one class going on and um, uh, I was standing out in the hallway talking with someone else and all of a sudden the door burst open and he came running out and he was sobbing and and um and then we had another i'm mentioning the guys because it's just it's, it, sure guys it, tend to be we're hold we're hold ups with regard <laughs> yeah. to emotion let's not care <laughs> not yeah. as easy to cry but um right. uh, and then we had a guy doing a testimonial in that same class at the end who um was talking about his experience and he started crying and it just is so neat i guess it just um i guess everything is in balance for numerous reasons because right. of because of the balance in the inner ecosystem as well as the balance um, that's happening with the signaling in the mind and all that we're doing that people are safe they're in a safe community they feel great and they just we we have our classes are on point and they and people really let go so yeah. so it's it's really fun to see that and and as, as Linda Duong uh, said on my show several months ago connection is the new currency Oh, oh, I love isn't, that. Isn't that awesome? I haven't heard that. Yeah. I love that. That's, her whole book is about that. Uh, oh, she's a good, good friend that. of mine. Yeah, I, I have it. I'll let you borrow it. But connection is the new currency. I love that. The more that. connected yes. you are, the better life works. Yeah. The safer you feel. When you feel safe, anything is possible. No. Well, you know, once again, you, you and I had such a great conversation on our way over here. <laughs> and one of the things you talked about was, the balance, really, of the autonomic nervous system. And the autonomic nervous system is that part of the nervous system, folks, that deals with two primary things. One is the, the one leg is, deals with fight, flight, activation, right, and vigilance. So if you're waiting for a test result, uh, you know, after final exam, you're vigilant, mm -hmm. you're activated, right? So that's driving the sympathetic leg of the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system is that autonomous part of your nervous system that works irrespective of your conscious control, right? The second leg of that deals with something you brought up called the parasympathetic nervous system. And what we really want to do in life as much as possible is we want to bring back that balance back. Yeah. We want to have a balance between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. The parasympathetic deals with rest and digest. It's when you're sitting, you know, sweetly with uh, with your your lover, your partner, a good friend, and and you're comfortable. The world is safe, and you feel great in it, mm -hmm. Beth. Mm -hmm. And too often, uh, you know, the media has a, has us amped up terribly. There's, there's, there's such a, a vibration uh, these days of anger and of separation and of fear. Mm -hmm. And what you do that's so beautiful is you don't just nourish the body, mind from beverages and from food, but you really mm -hmm. bring back that centeredness mm -hmm. emotionally. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah. I, so I get that guys weep because mm -hmm. when you detoxify the body, you detoxify the mind and spirit. Yeah. And yeah. that's really what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, that's so true. And it's, um, I do think that's why you, there are a lot of great online programs too. And and it's all good. People are there's so much. The internet has given us so much access to yeah. such great information. Um, but people always need the connection, and yeah. they and they need that. Uh, I believe that's one of the reasons we've been so successful for so many years is right. that connection. And I'm thinking about um, even the love that the connection is the new currency that I have right. heard that. But um, that the we think about how it, communities used to be so we before we got so incredibly busy. Families yeah. were always eating together. Yes, and family and friends were eating together, and you know, and and um, digestion is different when you're doing that. <laughs> it's different. That's when our bodies can take it in and absorb the nutrients, right. and that's when we're in our parasympathetic mode. It makes sense. It's the way that we're meant to be, but um, but we sometimes forget that. Uh, you know. Uh, I, I think we forget a lot about that. And I, when I grew up, you did not in the bull mash home. You did not miss breakfast. You did everybody with the was family. A, oh, You're yes. all family. Oh, I oh, love that. Yes. That's sweet. Whole family breakfast That's together, great. and we all Good had dinner mom. 
right? Dinner together, unless yeah. for some reason we couldn't. But yeah. it was, that's where all the learning, growing, and processing of the day went. And no TV. No TV. <laughs> that's, we're going to take another commercial break. I hate to I hate to break this. We're in the middle of a great mm-hmm. conversation. But folks, Dr. Nelson Bullnash here. You're listening to me and to my friend, Beth. And Beth mm-hmm. and I are going to be right back, and we're going to continue this incredible conversation about health. Are you ready to be the hero of your own story? It's time to put the power of your health back into your hands. Join us for our free 25 day journey to get your life back now from chronic illness. Our doctors and experts will guide you back to optimal health. Our foundation is wrong. Think of it like this. So let's say that you you order a desk. You see this beautiful desk on um, Wayfair or Ikea or whatever, and you get it. And it comes and it's in this flat box and you go, oh my gosh. So you open the box, you get the directions out, you start trying to see which is piece A to connects to C to D. And somehow you get the first piece flipped over, but, but it all still fits together. And you get it together and you're like, something's wrong with this desk. I'm telling you, something's wrong with our system. Our foundation is not good. And the only way it's gonna change is for you guys to get these tests and start demanding them, then the insurance will start paying for more and more of them and say, I want this IV gene test. I want a color guard. Don't wait for the, don't wait for the lumper bomb. Go to www.getyourlifebacknow.live and begin your journey today. Health Matters is brought to you by our friends at North Fulton Apothecary, where they care about your health. 11940 Alpharetta Highway in Alpharetta. Call 770-475-8903 or visit them online at NorthFultonRx.com. Hey, everybody. Dr. Nelson Bullmash. I'm back. And you're listening to another edition of Health Matters. And my friend is Beth Hauser Coughlin. And uh, I want to, Beth, I want to look at what kind of people can benefit from the incredible work that you offer. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, I hate to say, oh, everybody can, but everybody, no, everybody would, needs a detox, yeah, I right? Think you, I, I, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't argue that with you. Like, who doesn't, right? That's right. We live in a pretty toxic world, so. Well, and I, when I, when I, uh, I had a sweet friend who invited me through the program with her, but I had just recently learned after my father died right. that, that my um, pathways of detoxification were impaired, and um, I don't detoxify well. I mean, we all eliminate, we yeah. all detoxify every day, but um, some people do it better than others, others. And I think everybody is so inundated with toxins. Yeah, yeah. Um, you mentioned the food and, of course, the mental stress and the air and everything. Um, and it's all, it's, it's okay. We can detoxify. We do right. every day, but but it's so, um, the accumulate accumulation of our toxic load. So um, my personal feeling is that everybody needs this. I feel great when I do it, even when I'm my most healthy. You you probably feel like I ask you a trick question. Like, Nelson, is that a trick question? No, it's (laughs) not a trick question. No, but it's good. Thank you. That's good. But we get so many people who are dealing with um, illness. We, We do... Um, we actually get a lot of people dealing with cancer um, who... Right. Um, but we're not in... We have people in all phases of cancer. We have. When I took the class, there was a woman going through chemotherapy, and she said, I'm the only healthy person in my chemo group. And right. um, we have doctors. We, In fact, we have a couple there. Um, now, um, the, the doctor wanted them to come through before another treatment to get sure. the body strong. Um, of course, we do have people who say, I am. I just can't bear with, I can't do chemo, I don't want to, and they, um, we say, well, we're not, you know, we want to support your body, but we're not, you know, we're not telling you not to do right, that. Right, sure. There's so, medicine has so, there's so much wonderful things that medicine yeah. is doing. We, we're not in competition with that. We want to support people wherever yeah. they are, but but we get, we bring them back to themselves, and we're, right. we activate the body's natural ability to heal, to heal. and um, that's innate, and we, you know, we do it through nature, basically, yeah, so. Right. Um, Which, ultimately, Beth, I think is the way it's going to be done. I had a, a very private conversation with a, a well-known oncologist here in Atlanta, and and I'm, I'm going to be very delicate. I'm certainly not going to mention this person's name because this person <laughs> said to me, Nelson, if you mention this, I will be not only ostracized, <laughs> I will be removed from the group yeah. of oncologists I'm in, which I thought, how tragic. Yeah. You know, the, we one of the things that, uh, Beth, that I say often on my show is, is if we seem to be as a culture, 
so divided. The, the chasm no, of separation, I, I don't care if it's man, woman, uh, elderly, young, uh, you know, elderly folks are like, oh, these millennials, millennials are like these older folks, you know, Democrat, <laughs> Republican, and and it's really crazy because... It doesn't need what, to be. No, it doesn't need to be. Goodness gracious, when you sit down, you and I want almost the yeah. same thing. Yeah. We, we want to be able to live a healthy life. We want to be able to do the things we want to do. We want to have the friends we want to have. We want to be able to live in a nice house, eat, you know, the foods that we want. We yeah. want to have a great life. Yeah. Now, we may have a little different view on how we get there. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. Right? I, I'm not asking you to live like I do. You're not asking me to live like you do. Mm -hmm. but, but we need to find a way to be agreeable so that we can live healthy lives. Yeah, I love that. There were always, it yeah. seems like there's always so many more similarities than there are differences. And yeah. But it's easy, and I guess our brains feel sort of safe, focusing on the differences because right. it's the world that we know, yeah. or it's our reality, and it we reinforce our reality. This is the right way to right. do things. And, and, and the, the thing that I think is very important to realize, this is a microcosm of our, of our own healing, yeah. meaning... You know, we create separation in ourselves that yeah. leads to disease. Know. Yes, is yeah. it right? Internal conflict. Internal yes. conflict. Yeah, yeah. And and that that discordance, whether it be chemically, whether it be immunologically, mm -hmm. whether it be vibrationally. Yeah. You know, one of the things that is, is, is so apparent to me is when you get really healthy, mm -hmm. you don't have a vibration such that disease can make itself at home in your body. That's right. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's you know, and, and I think that's one of the things you and I are so in agreement on. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We might disagree on other things, but but we so agree with, with that, 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 that what you teach is all about creating the convergence, mind, body, spirit, yeah. so that you get coherence of vibration, you get coherence of thought, coherence of I am one, I am love, I am healthy. That's I love that. That's perfectly said. I, I should be a person. You should be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I might have a new job, folks. <laughs> it's that inner integrity. Yes. It's great. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> I love that. So so let's talk a little bit now about what what can people learn when they attend your programs. I know you're you're so comprehensive, and that's one of the things that really separates you from a lot of other groups who do this. I mean, I do this on a on a baby scale. You do it on a grand scale. <laughs> not, not that I'm making myself wrong, but you, you know, the, yours is so comprehensive. What, what are some of the programs you offer? Well, and we want to introduce to people to. I mean, we, we, right. we our um, participants have we have people. We have doctors, chiropractors like you come yeah. in, um, so that they that they they have exposure to that and they get different services right. and. Um, of course, we have the group interactive classes. We even have journaling. I mean, we have all sorts of different, um, we do movement classes. It's really, um, we talked about medicine, and, and um, you mentioned the way that we seem to be almost separating. And, and right. um, But uh, medicine is now even talking about um, lifestyle medicine. And sure. so really we are, we offer sort of lifestyle medicine with detoxification. And love um, I love that. And I feel like my dad, you know, I hear some people talk, say, oh, my doctor this, because we get people who are so frustrated. And I think, you know, my dad was a doctor. Both of my granddads were doctors. My my, my uncle is and my um, aunts were nurses. I mean, I'm sorry, my um, grandmothers were nurses. Yes. They all, it's it's not that people, that doctors want, they, we all, of like course. you said, we all want the same thing. We people all want healthy. the body to heal. Yes. And, um, but they're different ways of doing that. Right. Um, so, so we try to, what we, what our specialty is, 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 um, strengthening the body through yeah. natural methods. And so we want to teach, we even teach, um, essential oils, which I see you have some essential oils with you today. Yes, I do. Um, we teach healing with spices and herbs and natural foods. And, and we, you mentioned the raw vegan and sprouted and living in, and that's such a neat thing for, yeah. for detoxification and for everyday life. If, because we don't, uh, we we're not we're talking again about differences. We don't say, oh, you have to be, um, you have to be, uh, one hundred percent vegan or whatever. Right. Um, and a lot of people like keto now. And actually, our participants are in ketosis when they're going through our program. Beautiful. Um, but we we say learn this and add it into yes. your life arsenal. for the rest of uh, yes, Life, exactly lifestyle arsenal. And, yeah. and we do, I mean, like almost like an everyday detox. If you add fermented foods, which have so many probiotics, and if you add sprouts and, right. and um, living foods in, then your body will more easily detoxify the bad stuff that we're exposed to. So we don't have to be afraid yeah. of all the bad stuff, right. <laughs> the bad stuff. Um, you know, it's, it's interesting. When I had this conversation with this oncologist behind closed doors, yeah. she said, I wish I could be you. And I said, mm. what, what does that mean? And she said, what it means is that... What we have access to right now is primarily 
radiation, surgery, mm -hmm. and chemotherapy yeah. as our, our three forms basically of treating people. Yeah. Yeah. And we're failing miserably. Yeah. She said, I went into this, as you can imagine, just yeah. like you did and I did. Once again, we're looking at agreement here. Yeah. She went into this to help people wow. yeah. live better lives. Yeah. yeah. That's and, her, and she said, that's you know. That's what doctors do. They love of people. Course, they love right. to help heal. Yeah, you don't become a doctor. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> right. It's too hard. Yeah. And, and what she said was so interesting to me, Beth, because she said, you know, I thought this was the path. Mm -hmm. And what we realize is. It may be part of the path, but it certainly isn't the path. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're we're failing. We're losing lots of people. Mm -hmm. And so, again, like the country, right, mm -hmm. we bring all the healing modalities together mm -hmm. so that we can have congruence Love in a that. way that yeah. allows you to contribute me to contribute. Yeah. And of course, Western medicine. Yeah, that's right. I love that. Yeah. And so I, I don't ever, and I know you don't either. I don't think about being separate from mm -hmm, other healers. I think about Beth, how can we sit down and talk so that when we, when we leave each mm -hmm. other, not when we separate because mm -hmm. we're always connected, but when we leave each other, Beth, that we have grown as spirits and we have grown as individuals mm -hmm. and we can then impart to our friends, family, and your clients, my patients, how to live better lives. I love that. Yeah, yeah. we always have something to learn from everybody. Right. We're always learning from our participants. Yes. And I always learn from yes. you and people we're around. So yeah. um, it's, and, and, and the, I, I do hope, in fact, that's one of our goals at Living Foods Institute um, is that we, and did we talk about the name? Did you, did we talk about the, no, the but tulip we should, part? No, the tulip part. I, I, I was going to ask you about that. Because it's sort of a weird sounding name. It, but. it is, but, but let's talk about that, okay? Because once you hear it, it makes sense. So it's not only, and TULA is not only an acronym, and we'll go into that for a second, mm -hmm. but what does TULA mean? It, it means balance. Right, yeah. right. It means a lot of neat things. I've done some looking into it. It's really a, a cool word, but but it does sound a little bit weird, maybe, like if people haven't well, heard it before. You, but when you connect with, though, that it means balance, mm -hmm. and then give us the acronym. Uh, we're using the acronym, the Ultimate Lifestyle Academy. Academy. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> so it may be a little offbeat, but it works very well. It works, well. it yeah. works. And, and that's because the Living Foods Institute has been around for 20 years, and I mentioned people from all over the world. Um, we, as we as we grow, we just um, uh, we the name the Living Foods Institute. We are, we have um, I guess we have rights to it, but but not forever. And it's right. and so as we grow, we're just trying to. Um, we needed to change it a little bit, and this works for us. So beautiful. Um, but but the balance that I was about to say one of one of the components of balance is really that we do want to work more with. Um, with with physicians and um, be able to give people a balanced approach without feeling like their doctors are going to get upset upset right. with them or that Thank they're going to compromise their bodies or so that it's all we're all working together for this for the exact same reason as you just pointed out. Yeah, I love that because I've actually had medical doctors attempt to not debate even but argue with me that good good nutrition lessens mm -hmm. the effect of their chemotherapy. And yeah. I thought, oh, you got the wrong end of the stick, friend. Yeah, yeah. I, Beth, I want to share something that was a very interesting and a turning point in my career. So I was at an international conference some years ago, mm -hmm. and I was sitting at a table that had one chair open. And there were hundreds of people, Beth, hundreds of people in this large open room eating lunch. Yeah. So we were on our break. We were eating lunch. And I was a larger man physically than I am now, a little, little bit more posing at 270 pounds and pretty lean. And this gentleman stood there and he looked down at me and he said, sir, w w w would you mind Would you mind if I sat down? And I said, of course not. Sit down. Enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. And so he said to me during our lunch, he said, so, so what do you do? And I gave him some background information about what I did. And he said to me, I have a question for you. And I said, please, what's your question? He said, do you ever have people who have difficulty losing weight? And more specifically, burning fat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I said, I absolutely do. And he said, do you have any thoughts about that? And I said, as a matter of fact, I do. However, I have no research to, to validate what I'm going to tell you. And he said, that's interesting. Tell me. I said, I have a theory that people now have such toxicity stored up in their oh, adipose yeah. tissue like that, that. It, it becomes yeah. dangerous and prohibitive for them to, to quickly burn adipose fat tissue because it could cause auto intoxication, meaning they could toxify themselves um, right to the point yes. where they got ill. And he paused for a moment, he <laughs> recalled and he said, what? 
and we're going to finish this in a second, but I'll say this. He said, where did you come up with that? I said, I, I just have noticed how hard it is to detoxify really and get people to lose yeah. weight by burning fat when they're super toxic. And we're going to finish this when we get back. we got to take our last commercial okay. break, okay? That's great. But I'm going to pick up the story when we get back, okay. folks. Mm-hmm. We've got one more segment to our show. You're listening to Health Matters. We'll be right back. Mm-hmm. This is Kurt Arsenault of Arsenault Advisory Group. Most of us never think we'll get divorced. Unfortunately, half of marriages will end in divorce. Children are always the first priority, but getting your finances in order will need to be addressed. The first step is to get an assessment of where you are financially. Will you keep your home? Do one or both of you have a 401k or pension? Who will pay for the kid's college education? Will you split your debt liabilities? These are just a few things to consider when thinking about divorce. Visit arsenaladvisory.com and download our free ebook titled Six Things to Do Before You Get Divorced. Don't wait. Visit arsenaladvisory.com today. Health Matters is brought to you by our friends at North Fulton Apothecary, where they care about your health. 11940 Alpharetta Highway in Alpharetta. Call 770 475 8903 or visit them online at northfultonrx.com. Hi everyone, Dr. Nelson here and Beth Hauser Coughlin joining me from the Living Foods Institute. And uh, we're, we're having an engaging conversation here. And I want to finish up. I was telling Beth a story about how I met a gentleman, another doctor, at a big international conference who sat down next to me, was asking me my thoughts on certain things. And one of the things he asked me was, do you ever have trouble with people who won't lose weight? And I said, absolutely do. And he said to me, mm-hmm. Beth, he said, what are your theories about that? And I said to him, I have a theory that some people are so toxic They're so toxic that it's prohibitive and it is a protective mechanism of the body to burn fat because the body doesn't have the stores of nutrients to handle the toxic load that would be dumped into the liver. So the guy looked at me, recoiled and upset, and he said, are you serious? I said, yes, (laughs) I do believe this. And he said, used an expletive, as you can imagine, and said, this isn't fair. And I said, what's not fair? And he said, I'm lecturing on this. And you stole my thunder before you started. You're kidding me. Oh. He said, Nelson, I paid for your research. You're exactly correct. And I said, tell me more. And he said, I started doing some fascinating research. And I said, what did you do? He said, I started biopsying fat plugs of people. So I would literally, he said, I can tell you this. I searched the entire world. There is one laboratory at this time. And this is probably every bit of 8, 10, 12 years ago. He said, there's one laboratory in the world that can do chemical uh, analysis on, on fat biopsies. When I started sending these fat plugs to this lab in London, England, they called me immediately after analyzing some of the fat plugs. And they said, oh, my God, where are you getting these people? I was going to say, were they Americans? or the, or Yeah, uh-huh. these, right. Uh-huh. And, and he said, mm. well, I don't understand your question. These are people who just come in off the street to my office. Uh-huh. And he said, you got to be kidding me. And he said, no, why would I kid? What, why, why are you bringing this to my attention? And he said, because the toxicity levels are so extraordinary oh, that if a person burned so in that biopsy alone, the level of poison, heavy metals, dioxins, and other harsh chemicals, it could kill a person. Wow. And so one, once again, one of the reasons I'm not a fan, of particularly initially, Beth, of water fast yeah. is because you have to have the nutriture yeah. to help that That's kind of an assault on the liver and the kidneys and the other organs. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that fascinating? Wow. And it was that so crazy. Like good synchronicity. That, <laughs> you know, I, Beth, I call that a God moment. He was literally, there was one ump and chair in the entire. That, of course. And there were hundreds, of course there were probably there three were. or four hundred people. You were, that's neat. And Have he you, was so like, he like, oh. you know, I can't believe. You stole my, you stole my whole thesis and my end result. Uh, and then he laughed about. It. He said, "Well, you're obviously a sharp guy, and uh, and you're right, by the way. And you can pay for half my research now." <laughs> I said, "No, you you take care of it yourself." But but that's important information it's important, for people to hear. Yes, it's important, and I wanted to share that with you because mm-hmm. you know you're that's what you're about, and yeah. so you're doing it very successfully by making sure that they have the nutrients they yeah. need by having the living foods, the organic foods, yeah. and the vegan foods. 
Yeah, yeah. The, or the things that are, aren't, the things that decrease inflammation and that aren't toxic. Yeah. You're just removing everything that's potentially toxic, toxic. I guess, everything. <laughs> so, goodness, I, I wish I could have you for like two more hours. I want to make sure we really capitalize on the last several minutes. Is there anything that you want to talk about, about the programs and why you have them um, or anything else you offer and why you offer them? Well, uh, we do, we're starting to do some shorter classes because it is a chunk of time, but yeah. it's so transformative. Um, just to, just sharing some of our success stories. Um, I won't go into many of them, but, but the, the sweet thing to me about the success stories is just a reminder of how strong our bodies are, right. the, the capacity of the human body to thrive. Yeah. And, um, of course, Hippocrates says the, let food be thy medicine, medicine be thy food. And, and, but we, we know that it's more than that now too. And it's really cool that, um, a lot of the things that we've been doing for 20 years now, you're bringing them up. Science validates yes. it. And so much of it is um, this, the response to stress. And nobody likes the word stress management really anymore. But um, but it's so incredibly important yeah. to um, manage the way that you feel because of the signaling that you're right. sending to this whole inner ecosystem that's huge, more 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 of the, those cells than there are even human yeah. cells. So, um, so that's such a big part. And in fact, um, we when I when I was considering acquiring the business from Brenda, I um, talked with a woman from Sweden who was there and she had these, when I saw her, I was just talking with her. She had, I knew she had just completed the 30 day program and um, pretty lady and had maybe a little bit of something under her chin, but I didn't really notice. Right. And um, turns out she um, just prior to coming, she had lymphoma. She had to, um, oh, she actually massively swollen she, lymph nodes. She had right under her um, chin, <laughs> and right. so I saw before and after pictures of her, and um, it was such an incredible transformation. But but I was trying to dig in to figure out what is it. Um, and I've been here for a year now, and I'm just I'm, I'm just every single class. It just I'm just so amazed right. at how transformative. But for her, she said because I just assumed she'd say well pointing to the nutrition and the good food because that's just, it's so incredible, the food that people are getting there, how transformative it is. But she said the thing that surprised me is it was the emotional piece. And she said, that's not sure. why I came. I had no idea right. of that, about that. And um, so it's interesting just not to, just to, if there's a message to get out there, it's for people really, um, if you want to heal, you can do everything right. But if you don't manage your stress levels, if you don't manage your, um, just for lack of a better description, your signaling from your brain to your gut, from to the body, to the brain, to the body, to the heart, um, the good messages of gratitude and those yes. sort of things, just taking a yes. moment to, um, to, to love yourself and to love people with you and to love, um, you know, just to just have gratitude for your food, everything you can, there's always, even if it's just a second that you have to run, if you're in the middle of a lot of things going on, if you just have to run to the restroom or whatever, just to get away from everybody and, and just take a breath and, and consider what you're grateful for that alone, yeah. just shifting into that, um, can be really transformative. So. I love that. And, and there are a couple of things I want to mention here before we close. One is, I, I love your quote here, ancient wisdom combined with modern science informs your teaching. Yes. Matt, that's so beautiful mm -hmm. because we're so often today at a point where we forget about the brilliance of our forebears, our ancestors, and they had tremendous wisdom. Yeah, and they we, were fermenting too. Right, I, exactly. And so, you know, mm -hmm. we, we, we think we're the most sophisticated human yeah. beings to walk yeah. the planet. And, and granted, maybe, maybe we have the greatest technology. You know, I haven't been around for millions of years, mm -hmm. so I don't know. Uh, I know the, the sophistication today of our technology is incredible. And, of course, it's a double-edged sword. You know, we're carrying around cell phones that allow us our, a GPS, mm -hmm. a, a, a camera. We can look up anything on Google, and we're microwaving our brains. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> everything's a mixed mixed bag, if you will. We, we've lost. Yeah, I, I love that. I love that you said that. That's such a neat point to to. I know we've got we're wrapping up, but to think about how much we have lost. I love. Um, I remember talking with someone who owned um, a restaurant. Um, Anyway, I'm trying to remember what what food it was, what type of food. But but he was saying, you know, when I was growing up, my parents could look at me and say, "You need more collard greens, or you need more oh, um, this or that." Right. So so there used to be so much more connection with things that we were. It's almost like we're losing our senses. In fact, um, I, I someone was telling me uh, recently that our 
peripheral vision has gotten smaller because we we don't need as much. Um, we're you know we're more focused on our technology and, right. and we don't really need as much as as we used to and even our yeah. you know, our vision is changing we're evolving in ways like you said there are a lot of ways that are really great but there are a lot of ways that that we've forgotten about and that's yeah. one of the things we hope at um, the Living Foods Institute that we do is bring people back remind them of themselves and remind them of that that's beautiful innate um, capacity and in, in innate wisdom yeah. mm-hmm, in our resources I I interviewed. I interviewed a lovely woman who was so sharp, and I remember she used to say to me, Nelson, for God's sake, speed up, as we were walking down the (laughs) hallway to my office. I'd say, okay, I'm coming. Give me a second. You know, I'd had a lot of injuries, and so I couldn't walk as fast as the uh, (laughs) 98-year-old grandmother that was walking ahead of me. She said, Nelson, I've got got places to go, and I've got things to do. Would you please hurry up? Yes, ma'am. I'm coming. I'll meet you in your room. Okay, take off your coat, and I'll be right there. This is no joke. Oh, that's great. <laughs> 98 years old? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no joke. 98 years oh, old. Oh, I love that. And I said to her, I, I, this is fabulous, mm-hmm. you'll love this. I said to her one day, so-and-so, I, I, I need to ask you a quick question. Fine, but hurry up, Nelson. Clock is ticking. I said, okay, fine. I said, what, what, how are you this sh-? She was so sharp. Her brain oh, was so amazing in her did body. Did she give you her secret? Yes. I remember her saying three things. We'll see if I can remember them. One, she said, I never eat anything processed or refined. I never eat anything out of a box. And I remember challenging her a little bit, like, really? You've never made a cake out of a box? She looked at me. She she said, I think not. You've got to be kidding me, Nelson. Where is she from? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 I. That's I'm great. guessing, I, I mean, she that. probably was born here in the United yeah, States, yeah, but but I know yeah. her ancestors were somewhere yeah. uh, from Europe, right? And uh, the next thing she said is, everything I eat comes from God's garden or oh. God's waters, oh, meaning I it's grown that. on mm-hmm. a farm yeah. in a healthy way or it's taken from the sea. That's great. <laughs> like it, <laughs> it better come from the way oh, it was originally made. Good for her. And the mm-hmm. third thing she said is, you can imagine, she said, Nelson, I'm nearly 100. I'm right right at the cusp of 100. And I can tell you, you may not understand things at any given time, but things things pretty much work out as they're supposed oh, to. That trust, place of acceptance. Thank and, you. Thank mm-hmm. you, Beth. She said, trust and accept the processes of life. I love that. Don't make a big deal. Don't make a drama yeah. out of every little thing that happens. Yeah. Life works out oh. in the end. I love that. Yes, always. And even in the worst things, there's always a great, even in the midst of adversity, there's always something great. And then when you look back at things retrospectively, it's like, wow, if this hadn't happened, this wouldn't have happened. (laughs) Let's take you and I for a second. Mm -hmm. I became so inspired after the death of my father Mm -hmm. to become... And it, mm-hmm. the the best person, the best doctor I could, and to heal yourself, and to heal too. myself, mm-hmm. and you did too. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's the silver lining yep. of the the yeah. the tragic uh, issue of that that our you know both of our fathers died, yeah. and my mother, of course, yeah, recently, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so. Final thoughts over thirty seconds. What do you want to share mm-hmm. with everybody? How can they reach you? Um, well, we I think our new website, at least phase one, is up. Um, Living and it's Foods, beautiful. <laughs> thank yes. you. We're working on it still. Yeah. It's um, livingfoodsinstitute.com. Um, we are on Facebook and Instagram. We're not as current with that. We're a little bit of um, technology slow, but <laughs> we're working on it. No worries. Thank you. We're, so and we welcome. are in it. Of course, we are in Atlanta. Um, easy access to the interstate and. Um, close to 75 in North Sun Drive. And, right. and anybody is always welcome to come and call us and come have lunch or come tour around or whatever. I, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm going to take you up on that. Please do. And you know what, Beth? One of the things with your mm-hmm. permission I'd love to do at some point, if you're open to this, I'd love to do a show out of oh, your, your institute. That. Would you like that? Would, we'd love that. Yeah. That would be great. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Beth, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so mm-hmm. much. Thank you so much. Once again, <laughs> Beth Hauser. Coughlin Mm -hmm. of the Living Foods Institute. It's been such a pleasure to have you. Folks, I'll be back in. You're so welcome, Beth. Mm -hmm. I'll be back, folks, in two weeks. Same Mm -hmm. time, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday later. Next week will be my friend and colleague, Dr. Charles Krieger. Until then, I wish you all the best. Mm -hmm. Live your best.
Thank you for joining us on this edition of Health Matters with Dr. Nelson Bullmash, where we help you discover how to ignite your mind, body, and spirit connection. Join us next time when we will bring you more exciting guests and engaging topics. Meanwhile, feed your mind, exercise your body, and nurture your spirit. The United Intentions Foundation and its associates take no responsibility for the opinions and statements made by the talk show hosts or their guests.